Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Today's aim is how must I use my journal? As you prepare for class, please observe the champs chart. There is no conversation. You can only receive help from your teacher. The activity is individual work and desk work. You can use the electric pencil sharpener to sharpen your pencil and you can pick up material then return to your seat. Please pick up a handout titled Brainstorming Safety Rules and Using My Journal. We will be using this handout at the start of class. Please observe the chance chart. You should now be seated and ready for work. Here is a do now. Write answers for the following questions and assignments. What was the previous lesson about? What did you learn from the previous lesson? What did you realize from the previous lesson? What did you figure out from the previous lesson? Remember you can pause this video for more time. For the following activity, you can speak at a level one you can receive help from a student and you can work together. Now it's time to share with a student sitting next to you. If your seat number is even, share with someone sitting to your right and if your seat number is odd, Share with someone sitting to your left. Here are my answers for the do now questions. The previous lesson was about easily knowing the correct rules to follow by using champs. I learned from the previous lesson that rules and laws are important because they keep people safer and keep order or proper procedures in our lives. I realized from the previous lesson that the champs chart can have different rules by changing the red and yellow tabs or indicators. I figured out that I must not talk with another student and I must remain seated when I am working on an individual assignment or activity. You must work individually for the following activity. You will begin working on the handout titled Brainstorming Safety Rules and Using My Journal. Remember to write your name and period number. You will begin working on part A of this do now activity. Brainstorm or think about five safety rules that should be obeyed in this shop, lab or class. Write or list each of them below. This activity is worth five points. For the following activity, you can speak at a level two. You can receive help from students. You will work in teams. You can stand and walk, but you must remain within arm's reach of your workstation. Now it's time to share with your team. Here are my answers for the do now activity. 
1. Do not use instruments unless given permission. 2. Use instruments in the ways that they were intended. 3. Do not run. 4. Do not throw any object. 5. Do not put any item or object in mouth. You must continue working in teams while working on this do not activity. Part B. Write reasons for obeying these safety rules. You should write at least four full or complete sentences on the lines below. You should write neatly. Correct spelling and grammar will be expected. This is worth five points. Now it's time to work individually and be seated while you work on the following assignment. Now it's time to share with the entire class. If you are chosen to speak, you can speak at level 4. Share part B of the do no activity. Here are my answers. 1. Do not use instruments unless given permission because there may be an accident when they are not used properly or when unsupervised. 2. Use instruments in the ways that they were intended, otherwise the instruments may be damaged or even destroyed. 3. Do not run because falling becomes a very high risk and injury can occur. 4. Do not throw any object because there can be injuries, painful impacts, and or damage to things. Let's review the previous lesson before moving on. In the previous lesson, we learned that rules and laws are important because they keep people safer and keep order or proper procedures in our lives. There is a high risk of injury in a lab, so we must obey rules to be safe, but some rules and or activities can change during a class, so we must obey champs in order to know the correct rules to follow. You are still required to work individually. The aim of today's lesson is how must I use my journal? Why use a journal? Well, a journal helps us to be smarter it's a tool that helps us to think. It also develops our minds. You not only have notes that remind you about information and details, but using a journal also helps to improve your learning. Research has shown that the simple act of placing a pen or pencil in your hand to write about a topic being taught improves learning. You become more aware of your learning abilities, which helps you to make better decisions that improve your learning goals. We more easily create mental connections with our previous knowledge and the new topics, and we strengthen these connections when we translate thoughts into language. We think by having private speech and conversations in our minds. Our translations help us to better understand a topic 
because we have to use insightful reasoning to convert the information and details into the language. Having to write also allows for more focus and time spent on the topic, which give more time for the topic to reach the long-term memory. More time spent on a topic strengthens memory. Brain cells become stronger. Sharing journal entries provides repetition about a topic, which also strengthens memory brain cells. Also, the experience of having to share journal entries strengthens brain cells by making more connections. As you become more aware of your learning advancements, you become more appreciative about the topics being taught. And there are many more reasons to use a journal. I used journals before I knew about the benefits. Journals helped me to do very well in school. I will show you my journals in class. But for now, I'll show you a photograph of the inside of one of my journals. Do now perform these procedures for the expected organization of your journal. 1. Write your first and last names on the outside cover. If your outside cover is too dark to see your writing, then write on the inside cover or at the top of the first page. 2. Write your subject, class period, and room number below your name. For example, Robotics Engineering, Period 3, Room 501. 3. Write page numbers for the first 10 pages. Remember that a sheet of paper has two sides, and each side is a page. 4. Leave the first two pages for a table of contents. If you have already written on these pages, then you can use the next two pages as your table of contents. 5. Use glue for adhering or sticking your handouts to your journal. I will guide you through this process. Here are instructions for writing in your journal. A reference handout with these instructions will be provided at your desk. Skip a line after the end of an entry from a previous class. Write the date for each new entry. Write about your learning experiences. Your learning experiences can be about something you learned like new knowledge, something you realized, which was something you thought was one way, but was not or could be many more ways, something you figured out, which is something you found an answer or solved a problem for. Write notes about the lesson or topic being taught. You can draw sketches, diagrams, charts, and schematics, etc. about the lesson. You can also write about your emotional experiences. A reference handout with a list that you can use will be provided at your desk. This list is from my learning log. It has incomplete sentences that you can complete, such as, I might have learned more if, I was surprised by, I was particularly 
interested in one thing that I learned is the most useful thing that I will take from this lesson is I want to find out more about I'm not sure about what I most liked about this lesson was you can also use the participation and success topics from the champs chart for more ideas Note, emotional topics will only be shared at the end of class. Do now use the general entries reference handout or lists here to write about your learning experiences and pick at least one incomplete sentence from the learning log and complete it. For your learning experiences, write about something you learned, realized, or figured out. Here's the list of incomplete sentences from the learning log that you can choose from. For the following activity, you can speak at a level 2, you can receive help from another student, you will work in teams, and you can stand and walk, but remain within arm's reach of your workstation. Now it's time to share with your team. For the following activity, you will speak at a level 4, but you will not receive help from another student. You will work individually, and you will be seated. Now it's time to share with the entire class. Remember to speak at a level 4. Here are my answers to the do now assignment. For my learning experiences, something I learned was that writing journal entries improves my learning. Something I realized was that a composition book or any notebook can also be used as a journal. And something I figured out was that brainstorming rules for safety can use my prior knowledge about safety rules for ideas. From my learning log, one thing that I learned is that we use language to think and improving our language skills by translating thoughts to language also improves our thinking abilities. And the most useful thing that I will take from this lesson is that journal entries can improve my learning. Now, there is no conversation. You can only receive help from the teacher. You will work individually and remain seated. Now it's time to review, summarize, and conclude today's lesson. Today, we brainstormed safety rules we learned that there are many reasons for using a journal which help us to think and make us smarter then we were given instructions on the way to make journal entries. First, 
we skip a line after the end of an entry from a previous class, then we write the date for each new entry, we write about our experiences, which are about things that we learned, things that we realized, and things that we figured out. We also take notes about the lesson or topic being taught and draw sketches, diagrams, charts, schematics, etc. We can also write about emotional topics. We can find ideas from the learning log or from the participation and success topics from the champs chart. In the next lesson, you will learn about robotics engineering and the learning goals in this course. Remember that you will need to leave your journal in the designated area at the end of every class. The final class events will be performed in class. Thank you for being here today. I welcome you to the next class.